Hi and welcome back to the next video in our series for creating a KPI dashboard based on role-based KPI data. In this section we are going to add in some headers. So we're going to add in the section headers for each one of these KPIs. Okay, so to begin with, what we need to do is just quickly go across and just explain what the end goal is for this particular video. So the end goal is to try and recreate something like this hierarchy we've got here. So we've got a hierarchy where we've got a KPI, which is schedule attainment, and we've got the schedule attainment actual KPI underneath. Then we've got KPI here, or a KPI header or title called work schedule break-ins, and then we've got the break-ins underneath. We've got KPI 3, which is productive time, and it's been split into its component parts. So each one of these headers needs to be differentiated from the actual KPIs underneath it. Now to do that, we need to create a hierarchy. We need to be able to have the, for each KPI name, we need to be able to associate the KPI header, which it belongs to. And to do this, we're going to create a new table. And that table is going to have two fields. It's going to have the KPI grouping, which we're going to call this, this thing, or this, um, this header here, we're going to call it a grouping. And we're going to have the KPI name. So the the problem we've got and the problem we're going to solve is that in our source data, the KPI grouping and the KPI name are in the same column. So we need to get them into two separate columns inside our data model because we're going to have a table with two columns and in each column we're going to have the KPI name and we're going to have the, the, the KPI grouping that that name belongs to. So we're going to have, for example, for this one here, we'd have three entries. We'd have one, one column would be KPI name and the other column would be KPI grouping and the KPI grouping would be the same. KPI schedule attainment for each one of these names. So here you can see an example here. So this is the end result. So to get to this end result, we're going to use a merge query feature within Power Query. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull in a KPI grouping table or query for each of the different groupings. So we're going to get one for KPI 1, one for KPI 2, one for KPI 3, etc, etc. And then we are going to load each of those and merge each of those into a KPI grouping table, which is going to look like this. So here we've got our final result, which is the KPI grouping name and each of the KPIs that belong to that grouping. And this is going to allow us to create that hierarchy that we're looking for. Okay, so let's crack on and we will start to create the queries within Power BI. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get some data. So let's go and get the Excel data. And here's the sheet here that we've been using. And we're going to go to the data input sheet. And we are going to transform data. So the only column we actually need is this column here. So we're going to go and just remove some of the rows first of all, and then we're just going to import that column. So we're going to remove the top three rows because that is information that we don't need, we don't require that. And let's go and remove these top three rows using the, the remove top rows option. So this is just tidying up this data here. And then we're going to go and choose columns. And we're going to choose or unselect all columns and we're just going to select column number three. And then we're going to get rid of these null values here. So we're going to go and remove blank rows. And here we can see we've got our list of KPI values. So that's the first step. The next step we have to do is get these KPI values into two columns. One that's got the KPI grouping and one that's got the KPIs that belong to that grouping. So to do this, we need to carry out a couple of transformations. So the first thing we need to do is, or the, the approach that we're going to take here is we're going to do it in chunks. So we're going to import the first one, the first KPIs, the second KPIs, the third KPIs into some intermediate tables, and then we're going to join them together in an append query. 
So let's do the, the first set of KPIs. So we will go into the transpose and then we will use the first row as a header. Now the reason I'm doing this is then I can go into this choose columns and I can just be a little bit more direct with the columns and when I come when it comes to copying and pasting and replicating the queries for each set of these then this is really handy and that lets us, um, lets us update them quite quickly. So let's choose the first set here and then we will go OK and then we're going to go back to transform and we're going to use the first row as or use headers as first row and then we are going to yeah we're going to go in here and we're going to go and unpivot this table or pivot yeah unpivot other columns and that's going to give us this in this um these values here uh, actually before we unpivot the, the values we're going to duplicate this value here now the reason we're going to duplicate this column you'll see in a second and then we will go to unpivot other columns is because we also want to have so here's the here's the grouping we're going to delete this oh wrong one again I've chosen the wrong option we're going to delete we're going to remove that column is because we also want to have the KPI name in this value here and that's going to be useful for this when we start to add this grouping field into our matrix so we'll change the, the, the header here and we're going to call this one KPI grouping and we'll call this one API name and we will call this KPI group one okay so the next thing we need to do is make sure I'll just click on here yeah. now we don't want to load these into our data model so to disable the loading we right click on the actual name of the query or the name of the table here, the query it creates the table and then we click on the enable data load now we want to disable data load so we just click on that and we can see it's turned this into uh, um, italics the other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click in a blank space and I'm going to create a new group and this is like a folder so I'm going to call this preload Query or preload. I'll just call this preload. Yeah, preload queries. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to just drag this into this preload queries. And we can see it's got a score, a number beside it, which indicates the number of queries that's inside that group. Now I'm going to go and copy this. So I'm just going to right click on it copy right click in here and paste and I'm going to rename this group 2 and all we need to do to update this is find the right transformation which is uh, this one here I think let's just check yep and then we go in and we uncheck these and we check the other ones so KPI 2 has only got these two here. Now once we've done that, it should, if we just go through each of these steps here, column 4 and the table wasn't found. Okay, so let's just delete that change data type. Everything else should work just fine. And yep, we've, added, we've got ourselves a situation where we've got the KPI grouping for group 2 and then the KPI names including the actual grouping name itself so we just go and do that again I'll do one more and then we can pause the video and I'll do the rest of them so I'm going to go in and paste that double click on here and I'm going to change this name 
and then I'm going to go and find this value here, double click on here, get rid of these, select these, there's quite a few under KPI 3 there. I've removed that that um, change type, so that should be fine. And at the end of this, we should have these ones as well. So I'll pause the video, I'll create the KPI groupings for, for 4, 5 and 6. And then we'll come back and continue. Okay, so that's me created these groups. So the next thing I'm going to do is go back to home here. And we're going to merge these together. Or sorry, append. We're going to use the append. So we're going to go in and append as a new query. Because we want to get one table with all of these values in, um, in one table. We don't need it in five different tables. So let's go in here. And let's just double click each one of these and add them in. And I'll move that to the bottom. And click OK. And we will call this one here KPI group groupings. KPI groupings. And here we can see it. We've got all the information we need in here. So once this is done, we just simply close and apply. And that will create this KPI groupings table. So we're back in Power BI Desktop here. And we're going to go to the relationships because we've got to tidy up these relationships. So here's our groupings table, and let's pull that into here. And we can see that Power BI has attempted to create what it thinks are the best relationships. But in this instance, normally it's pretty good, but in this instance it's created incorrect relationships. So let's delete this one here. And let's delete this, no, let's leave that one there, and then let's delete this one here. And then let's create a relationship between the, K the KPI name and the KPI display name. Here. So we've got, now these are essentially extensions to this sort table. We've got the, the target values and we've now got the grouping values related to each of these display names. So let's see what happens when we add this into our matrix. So there's a matrix here. Let's click on it. See the list of fields here. Go to our KPI groupings and let's add in the grouping into here. So we can see here we're starting to see that we've got these groupings here. Now that name is there, so the next stage is to remove this name here, so we don't see it twice. Okay, so the first thing we do is we go in and we need to delete these relationships here. Now the reason we're doing this is because we're going to add a new column to this table, and that column is going to be the actual key that's going to replace this display name when it in, in connecting to the other, the other tables. So we need to delete this. And you'll see why we're doing that in a second. So we delete these is the first step. And then we go to transform data. And we're going to go and make add a new column and make a few changes to this KPI sort. So if I click on here. And to edit this information we need to click on this little cog here because this information was entered directly into Power BI. So this could be stored in a table somewhere in a database or a spreadsheet, but we've just um, just showed you an example of how we can enter the data directly into Power BI. So I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to insert a column. Then I'm going to copy this contents here and I'm going to paste these in here. So this column here is going to be our new KPI key. So we'll just rename that KPI key. And this display name is going to be still the display name, but whenever we see one of these values here, we're going to blank it out. 
we're going to delete it because that is what we want to see in our table, our matrix. We want to see a blank value next to the, the grouping for these KPIs. So I'll click OK there and we'll load this in. And as if by magic, Power BI has actually created relationships. So here's the KPI key, the new KPI key we added, and it's connecting it to this KPI um, name, which is fine. This is connecting it to the KPI name, and this is connecting it to the KPI name. So we probably should go in and change these to be called KPI key as well, but I'm not going to do that for just now. So now, when we go back here, we can see that magically, these have now blanked out because the mapping between this and the KPI name for this is, is shown a blank value. So that is us almost done. The final step is to go and just add a little bit of conditional, or a little bit of colour here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some colour in to make this a little bit more congruent, this, these, these alternative rows. I do like this and do think it's really helpful for this one here. So what I'm going to do is under column headers, I'm going to choose the background color and I'm going to choose that to be the same as this alternative color here. And I'm also going to do the same for these column, uh, for the row headers. Like I say, there's not a lot you can do with this conditional, for with this um, format in here. You can't have individual colors for each of these columns, which is unfortunate. Um, but I'm sure that will come at some point. But for just now, let's make them the same, and then let's click on here. Oh, background colour, what's happening here? It's not the colour I need, it's this one here. And it just means there's a little bit of a, less of a sharp contrast between this colour here, and it just kind of blends into this one here. So that is us. So we've now got our getting towards something that looks a little bit more like the layout we had before. We've got this in here and um, each one of these sections has got the KPI. You can use this here to go up and down the hierarchy. It's not particularly useful because these numbers don't relate to these numbers here. So remember to always expand every level of the hierarchy and that gives you the... If we look at this hierarchy there, that gives you the KPI, the grouping and the target for each of the KPIs. Okay, so thanks for listening and I will talk to you in the next video.